Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching Zelda 2 Redux, we're back at Old Casuto. And now, since we have the cross, we can see the bad enemies here that want to hurt us. Although that is not going to prevent me from getting hurt by them. And you can see all the the roofs are blasted out. The, the buildings are just a fright. These MOAs don't actually shoot fire though, so I kind of like them. So we're going to go in here and we're going to grab our last spell, which is the Thunder spell. Although Thunder is just the sound, Lightning is what really does the damage. I will teach you the most powerful magic. And at level 8, Thunder is going to cost us 32 spell points under the Zelda 2 Redux model, which is two full magic bars, which is still not even that much magic. Uh, but so there we are. The old man... The old man knew what his mission was. He had to stay in town and wait for the hero to teach him the crazy magic. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and... Alright, yeah. Just get him on the way out. I think that may be one of the few... Well, okay. We can go see other places, but they're abandoned. Looking pretty... Looking pretty shabby. This is a... This is a sad little state of affairs we got here. Anything else in Old Casuto? I don't know that there is. I think it's just Thunder. They make it so you... They make it so you... So you have to do as little as possible, I think. Anything... Anything in this house? <laughs> Structurally, this house is a huge mess. Yeah, this place is totally abandoned. And you can't do anything. Whoa! Off-screen kill. There we go. Boy, this is a... This sure is a big town for for one with nothing in it. Alright, so if they... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else really to do around here. But man, this used to be a uh, thriving little metropolis here. But let's get out of here. We gotta go back across the bridge now. I hate going across the bridge. Because it's got these guys. And I, we do need fire, though. So... Hey, all right. Uh, first of all, we do need to heal a little bit. All right, fire is fire works out really well here. It's like they put an enemy that was gonna be weak to fire on purpose, so that like you'd have a really good projectile to use against the against the skulltolas here. These aren't skulltolas. I don't think we've actually crossed this bridge. Uh, do we have to do this? Oh, it's the same guys. I would rather go around than face those guys across a bridge, honestly. Plus, you get way more experience out of the... Wazalphasis. There we go. And we could... Ooh, hey. There we go. I was gonna say, we could always run into a ferry as well. Making our way the long way around. So we're gonna go around to the, uh... Oh, hey. Red Wazalphos. Don't know about that, Chief. Not really necessary to get experience at this point. If we somehow manage to make our way to 9,000, we'll end up with an extra life, and I guess that's cool, but it's not necessary to do, really. We're on our way to the end of the game with all the levels we need. That would have been... Well, it would have been useless, actually, to get a fairy, because they only restore life and not magic. Let's, yeah, let's make a, let's make a weak encounter pop up before we, before we go into the graveyard. We should be able to get through the graveyard without too much trouble. But if we were to make an encounter pop up there, it would have been... It would have sucked a lot. Oh gosh. How many hits is this blue MOA gonna take? I'd like to get it out of my way. Only 50 experience. Two hits though. If it could get on my level, I'd really appreciate that. I need to get on these guys' level. Holy moly. Okay, so now we're making our way through the lava. This is where things get really stinky. Alright, so we're gonna pounce on this guy... We gotta be really careful about how we do our kills here. These encounters are not nice at all. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna hit a few of these. And anytime we hit an encounter like this, we're gonna wanna cast Jump. Uh, jump spell is very important here. I would rather kill that MOA before I do anything. And yes, you better believe, I'm gonna be using the magic. So, here we go. And these fights suck because you have to do them. Okay. I'm going to kill any blue MOA I see. That's why. 
Even something as innocuous as that can get you killed. So yeah, once again, jump it up. I think we're going to have to fight that with Zalfos again. No, it didn't regenerate. Okay. Maybe we should just avoid the... Maybe we should just avoid the MOA then. Well, they're not making themselves easy to avoid. Alright. Let's go ahead and face left, so that if we get hit, we'll get knocked back to the left. Okay, you think I'm messing around with that guy? That's a big fat no. Alright, so yeah, you're kind of forced into these Lizalfos encounters, and you're forced into the swordplay aspect. Which is... I've been using cheap encounters. I've been using... Ah, dang it, I went for the fairy. That was probably a mistake. Got tempted by the... Tempted by the fruit of the fairy. There we go. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, people are encroaching on my territory now, so yeah, I'm kind of going to have to do something about it. Let's get out of here while we can. Okay, yeah, we don't want to get caught in any dead ends. We just want to make our way straight for the end. Uh, and if we can get to the end, that would be fantastic. I may get... I hope I don't get wiped out at this point. If I die here, it's a long walk back. Although I would have a lot of lives in reserve if I did that, so... So there is that to consider. But if anything, I'd rather die at the Great Palace so that I can restart from there. So there we go. Alright, come up to my level. Don't just fly around in the lava! They are coordinating a very vicious little attack here. Okay, yeah. Why don't we take you out to here? So that in case I miss a shot... Well, I mean... Oh, wow. A whopping 50. That doesn't... That doesn't do me much good. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna ignore you if we can. I think we're gonna... Yeah, just put him off screen, please. Alright, the sword... Okay, good. Anytime we see a red container, we're just gonna full heal. Making our way to the Great Palace. So here we go. Cave number... That was too much to hope to make it to the to the end, I think. Alright, yeah. Once again, we want these guys to kind of come to us. Alright. I didn't know which one was going to make it to me first. It's just better to kill all the enemies. Huh? Well, no, not jump. I was going to say, why did my heal spell not take very much? Well, we just wasted some magic there. That's not good. But we can make safer jumps, so I guess that's good. I was like, man, that was the cheapest heal spell I ever cast. Let's get let's get on to let's get on the road here. Okay, wake up, dude. Come on. Alright. It's not really worth it to be fighting these guys, honestly. If I can avoid some there's no pits in here. So like it's just best that I kinda okay. I was trying to get that. There we go. Yeah, stopping to engage with enemies at this point is probably the worst thing I can do. I think I can kill him with fire if I just... Nope, can't do that. And fire doesn't even affect the eyeball. That guy's... That guy has got his corneas together. That's... That thing... Okay, this this is a nasty Lizalfos right here because he actually throws stuff. It's kind of like fighting a Dyra with a shield. But I think it's still... Oh, he's a three-hitter. Okay. At least, I guess. Slightly more hit points. But he's fighting like a coward. And I hate it. I hate it, I tells you. There we go. 200 hit points just to have that guy out of my face. So, one more cave. And at least one more action scene. These are... Okay. Okay, so now we've got... I've been getting really fortunate with the sword play. Oh my gosh. I really don't like to take these guys on head on. I like to use my fancy moves. And it looks like there's actually more of them now, so... Okay, so get them on the way back. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a heal and recover some of that. Alright. 
you get out of the world. Here we go. Man, this has been going really well. Hopefully there's not one more. Okay, so now we just have a cave to go into. I'd rather not skip this guy because he'll just kind of run after me if I do. Oh, nope, did not time my jump very well there. There we go. Because I think there's another one just like right behind him. Yeah, there's a red. Red are a lot more manageable, but even blue aren't terribly scary. The scary enemies are all in the Great Palace, which is right here. And we're going to go into the Great Palace. So here we go. That was like a little electric barrier that we would have been able to pass through. So getting to the Great Palace was the most important thing here. And the Great Palace has been changed somewhat for Redux. There is a single path, normally, that you take in the Great Palace uh, to get to the to get to where you want. Uh, but in Zelda 2 Redux, the uh, Great Palace has been slightly remapped so that there are no dead ends. Wow, they got they got actual fire that I can't block unless I use Reflect, I guess. That's pretty nasty. No wonder these guys haven't shown up throughout too much of the game. I like, I like your blue friends better. There we go. We're going to take all the magic we can get. Okay. So here we go. Anything nasty in here? Okay, got these little hopping, hopping fire dudes. They are pretty nasty. I'm kind of... Why is the fire looping back around to me? That's terrible. Okay. Wow, and I need to heal after that. That was, a, that was quite the encounter. Oh boy. Okay. There we go. Let's do another one, why don't we? Whoa, hey. And that was a dead end. Well, I said that you could go any way you wanted. And, uh... Oh, and all our magic is gone. That's... Oh, and this one has more hit points, too. Gives a little more experience, but experience is not really what we need at this point. So, without magic, I'm screwed. So, we're gonna go back across the way here. I thought, I thought I had read in the changelog that no matter which route you took, uh, that no matter which route you took, you could get to the, you could get to the hole that you needed to get to. There is a very narrow hole that we're seeking out here. So we're going to go in here. All right. Yo, another one of these guys. Generally, though, you can kind of, there we go. In a room, in a room that looks like this. I think I'm going to die without even getting a warning beep if, at this rate. So here we go. Let's go in here and see what's happening. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay. So, yeah. There are, there are fake holes. They're kind of marked by the pillars, sort of, and the presence of, of, of bots and stuff. Okay, so we go here. All right, we've got a nice little... If we get stuck again, let's jump over that. Okay. Any other fakies? Nope, that's the only fake in here. Let's go down. Alright, so we are in the Great Palace. And it is great indeed. It is great and mighty. Is there another guy the same way? I'm hearing a lot of burning fire and stuff. Okay, so yeah, so I'm facing I'm facing this thing no matter which, which direction I run. Oh, well, took that one on the chin. Oh, game over. No. No indeed. But, we can go ahead and continue, and we'll be right back at the Great Palace. So, it's all good. Alright, let's try this again. We're gonna go this way, and see if... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Alright. Maybe we can force that thing off screen. Yeah, it just, it just fell in the pit that somehow exists at the edge of any given screen. Yeah, if you can kind of force enemies to walk into that... You can't block those. Why am I trying to do that? Last time we took a bridge that looked like this, it was a dead end. So, I'm hoping that's not the case here. Alright, what have we got? What have we got in this big old wide open space? Any enemies? Oh yeah, another... Another... I swear it looks like the Firehawk has some kind of bosoms. Okay, so we've got a bird statue here. There are... There are things in this palace that are even worse than Iron Knuckles. And we're about to find out what one of them is, maybe. Okay. Nope, that has nothing in it, actually. So we're just going to go down the way here. 
We're gonna keep going. Yes, but there are these kind of bird knights that are really nasty to deal with. Oh, wow. An even more severe arc on these things than ever. So, let's go ahead. Let's keep... Let's keep our... Let's keep our... Let's keep our expedition to the ground here. Because sometimes enemies can pop out of these blocks around here. Now, do the gold ones keep respawning or what? Are we going to see them pretty regular? We're just going to crunch through here. Yeah, sometimes if you go through the big open middles of those things, you end up spawning some really nasty enemies like this guy. Okay. We're going to take on a certain strategy here. Anytime we see a burn knight, well, we should probably heal the crap out of ourselves if we do. But... Anytime we see a burn knight, we're going to wait for it to jump over us because they have a huge jumping arc that makes them very weak to the upthrust. So we're going to wait on... We're going to wait on little Mr. Slime here. Took two hits to kill that thing. Was not aware they were so... Man, okay. But, uh, yeah, here we go. Pop, 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 pop. There we go. Just break through there. All right, there should be a secret passage somewhere around here. There we go. There we go. All right, some of these contain valuable things, some of them don't. Let's just see what we run into here. There's a big old wide open wall. We might be able to get some, uh, we might be able to get some, uh, some magic out of this, hopefully. Uh, a lot of times it's an enemy, so we may be wasting magic by doing this. Yeah, see? And if it's just an enemy, if it's an enemy, you can just run away, despawn him, and come back. We have plenty of chances to make it be magic. So, I, for one, would like to have full magic. So, I'm going to keep attempting to cast Jump until I get what I want. That is not what I want. Let's see if I can go... Let's see if I can eventually get what I want. Alright. Uh-huh. So now, where is the... Yeah, the opening is fairly low on the screen, but is the third time the charm? It is! Alright, so we're going to take our magic, and I think we're going to stop here for today and finish off the rest of the Great Palace next time, because the Great Palace is pretty big. I think it can, I think it can make for its own, I think it can make for its own episode in a way. So we're just going to stay here in a place where we're able to breathe. And we will come back next time and conclude the grand adventure that is Zelda 2 Redux.